Hello and welcome to the channel and I'm Gianna and um, today we're going to be going over the Red Gas Beer. I'm actually going to do a two-part video. Um, I just decided in this video to go over Red Gas. Red Gas is a program that I use to operate my um, bot babies. So I'm going to show you. I noticed that there's not a lot of videos out there to show you exactly how to manipulate or you know, utilize the beer. So I'm just going to show you some tips and how to get around and use the beer today. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do is actually download the beer um, if you don't have it already. And I will leave the link in the description for you as well. So download the beer, install it. I already have it installed. Okay. Okay, so this is just to say that, you know, because this is just a tutorial on the viewer itself, Red Gas. So saying that you already have it downloaded and installed and your baby signed in, you would hit file and then go to preferences. So let me do that for you. File and then go to preferences. And then you would scroll over here, RLV support. Make sure that that has a check. The rest of the options are up to you and how you want them set up. As well as the auto response because um, if people don't know their bots, they will try to contact them. So I just don't mess with the rest, auto response in general. Um, all right, so once you've done that, that's that. All right, so um, let's go over tools and I would say tools are important say for instance you have your baby online you TP to the store and the baby is a cloud what helps me is clean the cache and then reload inventory rebake textures and then your baby should pop in now I'm going to show you other features on the tools as well um, you really don't have to mess with the set appearance. Um, that's optional. My attachments. It's always important to have this tab open when you're on the viewer with your baby. I'm just going to show you right now which tools and how you need to set it up. And then we'll go over what each tool does. Okay. So inventory. You're going to need that tab open as well. Um, depending on, um, we have objects, I would say yes, because that's mostly dealing with mobility and I'll show you that as well. Um, so you don't really have to worry about the res now. Voice is on. You want to make sure that voice is not enabled because <laughs> you'll get the worst echo ever, I'm telling you. Um, media. You really don't have to enable that because, like I said, they're, they're going hand in hand with boys. Plus, um, if you get somebody to babysit your children, you don't want to hear what they're talking about when them children go on, honey. <laughs> okay, have fun with them. So just make sure that voice is not enabled and media is not enabled because you're not going to need those with the bots. Okay. So now, inventory. Um, I guess I need to show you how to set up your clothing folder but you know what i'll just make sure that that's in part two um your clothing folder and this is where if you notice i set up my kids things the bath time items the complete outfits this letting you know that it has either a top or bottom you know um dresses onesies pants but of course she is not in onesies anymore because she's actually three. So, yeah. PJs, you, you get it. All right, clothing. That's going to be one thing that you focus on, and you will see it in the next video. That'll be part two. Okay. Now we're going to go to um, my outfits. Now, this is a great tool as well. Okay, this is where you actually put their outfits together and save them so you know you can just go here um see the outfit you can see what's in it 
and whatnot, just in case you want to add some and take some away. But you just right click and click replace outfit and your child is instantly dressed. The only thing that you will have to worry about is the alphas, which I'm going to show you that next. Okay. Uh, well, better yet, let me just go ahead and do that now because I think that'll go hand in hand. So that's when you use my attachments. And you would find, um, let's find the BB Youth Body Alpha Hood. Click it. And it's going to open it up. Let me resize it to make sure that you can see it as needed. Okay. Now, you see how it pull it up? Now, here, all you would do is just click the places that need to be outfit out. If it's one of those outfits that, you know, is not fitted correctly, you would have to alpha out some pieces. That is how you do it. Once you get done, make sure to always click the X to take the hood down. Now we're going to go back to inventory. Objects. Of course, objects are. Now, let's say you don't want to log in on the SL Viewer to res or open anything. You would simply right click it. Res in world. Now, once you do that, you go to objects. Now, let's go back. It was a VEX 14K diamond tennis necklace. So let's go to objects. We're going to find that object. And what you would do is go to contents to open it. Okay. Then you would click open. All right. Now you can go back. Go to inventory. We're going to close this up. Now that folder should be open in your inventory there. You can add it. Now for some stuff, you do have to resize it. And I do it using the Second Life Viewer. But that would be in Part two, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. I'm just showing you how to use the Radagast here today. So, okay. Um, that's about how you use object folders. Now, when you go shopping for them, some places do require for them to be there. And I had to learn it or you won't get your items. So, sometimes what they'll do is they'll send your, the item to your objects. Okay. It won't be in your inventory it'll be in the objects okay so don't panic you see you buy something like oh my god i don't see it no it'll be in objects okay now um received items this just you know it's just like in the regular beer is there but sometimes with this what they'll do is they'll put the items in there but it won't be in order as in the sl bureau would be so sometimes it'll take you looking through it like okay what did i just buy now all right, so on down, I have other folders for them, AO attachments, and it's good to have your inventory in order like this, because let's think now, these bots, that mean if you you got bot babies, that mean that you're going to role play with them. So let's go on down. Like I said, it's good to have your things in order, so that way you will know what is what, okay? Now... Also, if you're going to use the yes and no hood, which I will make sure I put that in part two, you're going to need an RLV folder. And I'm going to show you how to set that up, but that's in part two. Today is just about ready gas beer. So I basically showed you everything really that you're going to need to learn how to use and utilize. So you're going to need inventory, my attachments, and objects open at all times when you have your bots online. These are tools that are going to help you. Um, far as in, like I said, I'll do that on part two. You can click on their heads and, and have them to sit on these objects. Or if, say for instance, they sit down and it doesn't give you a menu. Whatever they're sitting on, you will be it'll be listed so you can touch this and then touch to click and it will bring up that menu for you. So it's very important. Always remember inventory, my attachments and objects. Now I'm going to do it again to make sure that you know exactly how to go to it to get to it. All right. So. OK, so tools, my attachments. Objects, inventory, all three of those windows need to be open. Inventory, my attachment, and objects. And that's going to conclude the 
tutorial on how to use the red gas beer to um, operate your bot babies. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Anything that I left out that you need to know or anything that you want to incorporate into a next video. Um, thanks for watching.